But look, I know your time constraints, so let me get, me get to the last two questions, and okay. we'll be completed. Um, so the second to last question uh, is a vision question, a question of the uh, future, right? So we have, we have some amazing AI-driven progress out there of the type, like the don't even know what we don't know kind. Um, I think yeah. it's likely that we start to drive inputs, food, energy, data access, compute cost down to zero in the long run over time. But at the same time, as we've talked about, we have this massive disruption in employment. We have, you know, government friction. We have bifurcation in wealth and class. What happens, like, let's put that all into a blender. And where do you come out on what we look like in 30 years, 40 years, 50 years from now? Well, I think in 10 to 20 years, we face the potentially the biggest uh, challenge for humanity. Uh, not um, maybe other than war. This is not war, but but it's an economic challenge, perhaps the largest. And it's a very a paradoxical challenge because we have more money on Earth. <laughs> we have more resources. Yet all these issues are huge ones to resolve. Uh, I think if governments and corporations put their heads together, uh, if countries share best practices, and if we emerge in 20 years, having settled the retraining and the people, uh, then in 30 or 40 years, I actually feel, um, you know, our children and grandchildren will look back and say, wow, AI is amazing. It has liberated us from having to do routine jobs. Uh, we have more time on our hands. We can spend more time with the lo our loved ones. We can pursue our passion rather than do repetitive jobs. We um, should, re it has also taught us what it means to be human. It is the creativity and the compassion that separates us from AI. So I think there can be all these epiphanies um, if only we get through the next 20 years. I hope that we do have that generational fortitude to do it. 